Hello, this is V. Scott. I give you news, scandals, black history, poetry, and more here. Thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you down in the comments. Shanquella Robinson, a 25-year-old woman from North Carolina, died during a vacation to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. But the exact circumstances of her death remain a mystery, with the leading suspect in the reported homicide still on the run. We just waiting for someone to be arrested. Robinson, while on vacation with her former college classmates, was beaten. She was found dead in her hotel room while the people she traveled to Mexico with headed back to the U.S. An autopsy showed Robinson died of a severe neck injury. Well, they told us it was alcohol poison. And um, we, you know, questioned each one of them because we had heard different. We had got a call saying that they was over there fighting her. The video showing the fight has made the rounds on social media, though the second woman in the video has not been officially identified. Mexican prosecutors have said the suspect is an American and the charges are femicide. Femicide is the murder or killing of a woman or a girl on the basis of their gender identity. One way that we could think about this is like a hate crime. Mexican prosecutors said in a statement Robinson's death was the result of a, quote, direct attack, not an accident. Most women overall who are killed are actually killed by a person that they know, either an intimate partner, current or former, or a family member. And so gender becomes a really important concept when we think about the reasons why that women and girls are being killed. Mexican law enforcement has requested the suspect be extradited back across the border so she can face charges. That would require U.S. authorities to hand over an American citizen to a foreign government. She is going to have to be extradited to Mexico. I do see that happening. Deborah Blum is a criminal defense attorney in New York. Blum says while she expects the extradition to happen, it could be a process to get it done. They're going to have to have their day in court where the person that's accused of this gets to say, I don't agree to extradition. And then they get to have a judicial hearing in front of the judge. The FBI is also open an investigation into Robinson's death.